full time in an RV, you don't have an oven, no problem. Full time on a sailboat or a powerboat and don't have an oven, no problem. Car camping and not backpacking or just generally camping where you can haul a heavier load and don't have an oven, no problem. Welcome back everybody. I just want to share with you one of my favorite things and I will try to roll in a little bit of other footage uh, during the video about at least the Omnia oven here. This morning doing a few cinnamon rolls and one of my favorite things the, Omni, the Omnia They just don't get they run on the bottom from the heat, but otherwise everything. Everything is good. This is a solution for anyone that needs to cook on a stove top that does not have an oven at hand. This is an oven. It's from Omnia of Sweden. I've had it for at least two years. I can't. I don't know when I got it, but it's at least two years. It's O M N I A, uh, OmniaSweden.com. Comes in a nice bag. This can solve a lot of problems for those of us who don't have an oven. Um, and not having an oven means storage, where there wouldn't be an oven. A lot of people store things in their ovens and their RVs, and this is an advantage. I also want to talk about my Dutch oven and another uh, high carbon steel pan from Lodge that um, also act as ovens or can be used in conjunction with other things uh, to cook. And you can't cook on the stovetop with this, obviously with that, or campfire, this is stovetop only. We'll bring the Omnia to the forefront. Basically what you have is, it's almost like a bunt pan. Uh, the design is simple. It has an aluminum lid. It has air holes in the lid to let steam and heat out. And it's a three-part system. I do have a liner and there's some other things in the bag I'll pull out here momentarily to show you. But basically what the idea is is that with your burner you'll set this ring down on the burner. And that prevents direct flame contact from the bottom of your pan. So it sits in there, so you've got a decent amount of hot air circulating inside the pan, and then the lid. And there basically, it's pretty simple, it's an oven, so the heat comes up the center, convex around, and, and, and goes out the top. And I use this on a medium low to low setting, depending upon what I'm making. I generally bake in it, I bake breads and um, you know just add water um, mixes. I generally don't make cupcakes in cupcake style in, in the cupcake holders it just doesn't work I just pour it in there as one giant cupcake and cut it up basically if you make bread or make anything in here it's going to be round uh, but that doesn't matter it all tastes good the other thing I picked up for it online was the uh, Omnia brand silicone liner um, this just does wonders this is an aluminum pan some people don't like cooking or having their food directly in contact with the aluminum the reason I did this is just it's a little bit more difficult to clean the aluminum. You have to scrub it if you burn anything in it. The solution to that was, hey, they make a silicone liner. I just usually put a little uh, organic coconut oil in it. And uh, it, it, it kind of sticks to it all the time, so there's always a little bit of an oily feel to it. Um, but I haven't had any issues with anything sticking in it. Sometimes it drips down the center. But I'll hold this up to the camera and see if you can see inside that there is the unit as it sits. When you get it, they do include a raised pan that fits inside of it and some parchment liners that I basically destroyed and wrinkle up. Parchment will sit in here. It'll, it'll work in the liner, but obviously it's cut for this specific pan. That's one way to keep things from sticking. And it's breezy today. I think my fuzzies that I bought and put on that camera seem to work pretty well with those lenses. It does have a liner that sits in there, a rack. Um, you can put, I've done rolls, pre-made pre rolls and put them in there. Um, 
you know you can you can also bake in it like that this is basically an oven so if you want to bake some chicken or some other type of meat on there and don't want it sitting on the bottom you can put it on a rack and do that I've baked in it uh, regular food like once or twice I said I primarily use it for baking breads and and uh, rolls and that type of thing but yeah the rack does fit in here too so you do it comes with some parchment liners you can buy more I cut um, I have a nonstick silicone mat that we got and that I cut out to fit in here so if you wanted to put a nonstick silicone, you can obviously cut your own, like a baking mat. I haven't tried cookies or any here, anything like that in here, but online there are a lot of uh, folks that uh, have recipes. Uh, I think BoatGalley.com has recipes on what they cook in. Um, a lot of people that full-time in boats, but that's about it. That's that's all that comes with it. It's plenty. It does pack up pretty nice. Um, messed around with it. I just flip it inside out, set it in the lid. Woo. It packs it's in its case. Um, just a quick summary. A lot of folks are familiar with the Lodge Dutch oven, but I'll just hit it really quick. It's pretty common, especially in scouter circles. Dutch ovens comes in various makes, models, sizes. You can get aluminum ones, cast iron. You can get from Cabela's. You can get them from Lodge. Um, this is number 10. I have a couple. I think I have three. I have a smaller one and a tiny one. Uh, primarily, this number 10 is the go-to for me. Uh, it will feed me as well as other people. I have a smaller. I think it's an 8-quart um, that I tend to use on the canoe trips because uh, it's smaller and it packs easier. Uh, the dozer um, that was in one of my videos. Uh, got one of these after we made our stew in it. Um, these things are great. You can use these on the stovetop. They do make models without the legs. These legs are designed specifically to sit over coals. You want to cook on top of coals. The lip on the edge, you set coals in here and cook. That way you've got heat coming from two different directions. However, you can use it on a stovetop, and it basically acts just like an oven. Same thing. It's cast iron, so it heats up nicely. There's the inside. A lot of people don't wash these. I do use a little soap and water in it. And the other thing that really, really important for any cookware, um, it's a high carbon steel lodge pan. I love this thing. Um, you need to get it pretty hot if you're doing eggs. I did some eggs and some potatoes in it this morning. And I uh, used some olive oil and coconut oil mix. Maybe, you know, butter, because that butter's awesome. Put that in there. And this thing is really great. It's a very smooth finish. But the key I found, this is the brand, is called the, the Ringer. Apparently there are a lot of fakes of this out here. This is basically chain mail. It is stainless steel. Um, you just put it in here. You scrub your pot out, pan. Works in any kind of cast iron. It works great. This thing, I saw it on a podcast or heard about it on a podcast and tried it out and it's a gotta have. Um, the Ringer is the name, cast iron cleaner. I believe you can get them on Amazon and there are uh, some imitations out there that don't uh, don't work so well they rust this hasn't rusted i wash it out i rinse it i hang it out and dry it and i keep it up in a cabinet but folks if you don't have an oven you can definitely definitely cope with that on the road this is caribou dave uh, a couple of my favorite things had a couple requests for uh for this uh, from some friends of mine uh, that requested through email for me to show this. And uh, that's my quick brief uh, video on the Omnia stovetop oven. Um, it is Swedish, by the way. It's pretty darn pricey. It's in the $100 range. I think it's in the 80s. I think the liner, that silicone liner, was like in the $20 range. Um, so it's about 100 bucks, but I think it's really worth it. Um, you know, it's one of the things where I went ahead and got it. I'd seen it on a video uh, through Drake Paragon's website of a guy in Sweden that had sailed and had one of those and made bread in it every day. And I thought, boy, i got to have one of those because I don't have an oven. And it pretty much supplements that. So that's something for uh, if you're on a boat or full-timing in an RV or just car camping with your family, you can throw that on, a, on your Coleman stove, any kind of stove with a burner. I doubt it works on an electric. I think you need a flame. I um, haven't tried it on that, but uh, if anybody knows about that, slap that in the comments. But yep, these are three items, three of my favorite things for baking and for dealing with uh, not having an oven. Hey, if you would, uh, I do not have an Amazon affiliate link before, uh, as I had on several because you need 500 subscribers. I'm up to like 70, I think. And uh, so if you would, please click the like, uh, go ahead and comment. I'll try to respond. And subscribe definitely does really help out. So anyway, that's... Uh, Caribou Dave, early March, still down south because it's in the single digits of home and I can work here for a couple more weeks and that's probably what we'll do. So we'll, uh, we'll be up north soon. Take it easy. Travel safe.
Dave out. Oh, I'm away to Liverpool town. Give me some time.